Okay, I'm going to do the uh, front brake pads and rotors on my daughter's 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, going to try to do the back ones later, but uh, right now I'm just doing the front ones and uh, got the wheel off. It's quite hard getting the lug nuts off. Somebody must have really impacted them suckers on. But so we got the lug nuts off the tire. So now I want to show you how bad her rotor is. She said the grinding just started a week ago. Hmm. Not sure I buy that. <laughs> that's that's pretty darn bad. There's not much of this blade here of the rotor uh, so I got rotors and pads hopefully the calipers uh, not seized up sometimes if you get speedy uh, rotors going that quick it could be that it could be that you have a caliper sticking the piston or the pins here and uh, that not let it release when you let off the brakes like it should uh, anyway so going to uh, Get the tools and stuff I need for the calipers, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, 11 16 socket or wrench to do inside here. See if I can show you the the bolt right here, the caliper pin. That's 11 16 so there's one here and one down at the bottom. So, need to break those free, take those off so we can take the caliper off. They actually came out really easy. I was really surprised. So that might mean hardship later on. Of course, the hard part is as bad as that rotor is getting the caliper off. Now, usually for that, I usually get a big, thick screwdriver. That's some bad pads. There's actually no pad left whatsoever. Okay, I just remembered I don't have my big hammer, but I do have my splitting maul. And uh, hopefully that's going to knock this off. And there we go. One extremely bad rotor. While you're in here, is to inspect everything else. Which my daughter's not going to be glad to hear, but... The CV boot. Sorry for all the... You got a CV boot's completely ripped. So... And it's just a matter of time if the CV joint's not already bad. Okay, as I showed in one of my other videos, when you get your new rotor, you want to clean it off. They have like a little film on them to keep them from rusting. So you want to get you some brake parts cleaner and a rag. This one's actually not bad. I almost It's almost like it doesn't even have the stuff on it. Normally you can see it. It almost looks like a wax. But this one doesn't have... I don't feel anything, but I still like to clean them anyway. And once I get it on, before I put the caliper and stuff all back on, I'll wipe it down again, just in case I've gotten fingerprints, which you're almost inevitable to get from handling them. All right, 
quite a difference new old old pad or not really a pad anymore new pad okay again with uh, calipers I have to uh, obviously this one's going to have to be fixed as you can see the boot is torn which is probably why this seized up hopefully I can get the calipers to go back in if not then I'm going to have to replace the caliper um, so basically you take a C clamp take one of the old pads <laughs> and a C clamp and you push it back Okay, so I had to go get <clears throat> new calipers and they came with the new brackets as well which is nice and they came with the uh, new clips on them to hold the pads in keep them from vibrating and stuff um, so what I did is I carefully looked I even took a picture of my old one to make sure I'm putting them in right but uh, they'll only go a certain way you've got this piece here which is going to lay down and you've got grooves here 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 and here and you'll notice on this piece right there that's what that fits on so and this and that piece there fits just like this and it snaps right on so you do that times four. And then you have all your clips in. And you'll see how the pad fits in there. I'm obviously not going to put them in yet because I've got to get them on. I'm going to get the caliper on, but just wanted to show you how that goes in. All right, you get uh, new washers for your brake hose for the bolt. One goes on the bolt itself there. Then you put that through the holes, and this goes on the other end to sit here. I don't want to drop it yet. So now, unlike taking it off, I would have um, removed the hose. You know, at the beginning, I would have went ahead and taken the brake hose off and did it that way. But most of the time, you don't do that, so you don't have to bleed the brakes, hopefully. Um, but since that one was seized up and I had to do that, so now to put everything back together, I'm going to put the caliper and all that on the bracket, all that first. Then we'll put the brake hose on. Put the other brake pad in. There. Now we put the caliper on. All right, I forgot to mention one important piece. On this here, Caliper, the pin is grooved to only fit one way. So that was something I forgot about. So get that one on, get that one on, and then that's why I was having a hard time getting the bolts in. So if you get that all lined up first and then the bolts just go right in.
Okay, that's one side done. See, everything's back. I cleaned the breaker odor. Got everything back. I even did a little bit of bleeding by myself. I'll, I'll get a friend to help me bleed the, the rest of the system. It at least gets most of the air out of that. The pedal feels pretty good. So now I'm going to go start on the other side. So I'm going to put the tire back on this and then get over there and I'll see you over there. Thanks.